This video is about using XF conf query to change XFC settings from the command line or from a script and the benefits of doing that. But before I get into that, I wanted to talk about the four different ways you can change settings in the XFC desktop environment. So the most common way is to just go to the various settings here, your normal graphical settings, and you can find that I'm sure. And then there's also the settings editor. I believe that's in right, right there. So this is another way of changing settings. And uh, you see all the different areas there, places you can change settings. And the third way is by using xfconf query. And then the last way is going to this, di this di uh, directory in your home directory. Con you see the path there, config, etc and uh, editing the XML, XML file directly. Now, when I've edited, for example, keyboard shortcuts in the past, I actually had to reboot the machine for those changes to take effect. So that's obviously not ideal. I don't know if it's that way for any of the settings, but with XFCOM query, the, it, the change is immediate. So that's nice for sure. Now, how does this work? I'm going to tile this, and then I'm going to tile this, the equivalent setting in the settings editor. So, let's see. We've got the command xf conf query, and then the C flag, meaning channel. So here's your channel. So you go here, and I selected XFC Power Manager. Okay, the channels XFC power manager that corresponds there. So these commands, they look kind of long, but they're really easy to make. And then we've got the property, we've got the P flag. And so let's go to inactivity on AC, which is this one right here. So I have sleep turned off, which for 15 is, is the minimum amount of minutes for sleep. And so 14 means it turns off sleep on your computer. So then you can uh, double click that to get the property. So we have the property and you see the same path here is the same path here. And then you have the S flag, which means to set and I'm, and this sets it to 14. And then if that's successful, I have this notify send thing. I actually don't use this anymore, but it, I used to toggle on and off sleep on my computer. Now I just have it turned off all the time. And uh, so this is a fairly ba basic example, but that's how you set up. That's how you set up these these fairly long commands here. Well, this is the command, the first part. And so I'll show a couple of other examples where you might use this. And so I actually made this today. And so right here, I've got an if statement and if XFC for terminal is set to this keyboard shortcut. So this is a, a key. So the reason for this is in my screencast, I like to use Terminator and in everyday regular use, I use XFC for terminal and Terminator. I like it because it tiles nicely and it zooms nicely. So, but XFC for terminal is little bit more lightweight. So these are all of my main uh, keyboard shortcuts. Notice these are all the same shortcuts. And so instead of changing each of these manually, I just run this script terminal switch. And so once again, you got the channel, you got the channel, and then you got the property. This has to be in single quotes. And then I set the keyboard shortcut. So um, if XFC for terminal is set, then I change it to Terminator. And if not, then I change it to XFC for terminal. And then here's a couple more examples. And this is more complicated because I put it in a for loop. Uh, actually, a for, a for loop and a for loop. So this is actually a bug fix workaround, a workaround for a bug on the panel where randomly at times, uh, I don't even know if it's still a bug, the uh, panel buttons would go away with multiple monitors so on, on a certain panel. So this toggles the setting on and it toggles the setting off and it looks more complicated because I put it in for loops.
And finally, this is my screen capture script. And I once again made this kind of complicated. So I uh, have this in a function and notice. So what I do for my screen capture is I swap my, this is my middle monitor. I swap the panel for my, for my middle monitor with the panel on my right monitor. So the two panels swap each other and I use XFConf query to do that. So the reason I do that is because normally the clock is on my middle monitor down here, but I don't want to have the time on my screencast. And so now the, that panel is on my right monitor. I've got three monitors, so that's what that does. And so right here, when I start my screen capture, I move the panel, I swap the two panels, and then here at the end, I swap them back. So that's what that's used for to be able to automate that. So hopefully this has given you a couple of ideas of how to use XFConf query uh, to automate changing some desktop settings.